Ian, I want to start with you because I think it's hard to overstate uh, just how significant this visit is. Yeah, I think it's significant for a couple of reasons. I mean, obviously, she's the highest ranking elected U.S. official to visit in 25 years since sitting House Speaker uh, Newt Gingrich went in 97. Uh, but it's also a sensitive time in U.S.-China relations. You've got uh, forces on both sides. Uh, in the U.S., you've got midterm elections. You had a lot of uh, debate about whether she should go or not go and whether that would look weak on China. Uh, and then in uh, China itself, you have uh, Xi Jinping uh, kind of balancing uh, COVID zero policies with a bit of a slowing economy uh, and also a really important party congress coming up uh, later in the fall. Uh, where he is expected to secure a third term. So you've got a lot of sensitive dynamics internally. And then, uh, you know, internationally, we just have a situation with uh, the U.S. leaning on, on China over uh, Russia and the, the war in Ukraine. Uh, you've got a lot of high level dialogues that haven't particularly moved the needle. Uh, on the Biden administration's China policy. Uh, and then you're playing with this uh, extremely toxic situation where, where Taiwan is just the most sensitive issue uh, in U.S.-China relations. Uh, and Pelosi visiting uh, at this point uh, with the rhetoric cranked up on, on the Chinese side in particular uh, and US, U.S. officials kind of failing to uh, calm down and, and kind of convince the Chinese side that that they're not trying to, you know, erase the status quo here. Uh, it's kind of got a, a bit of a, a mix where we're now seeing uh, some of the more, uh, the most uh, extreme sort mm. of Chinese military responses since since the mid 90s in decades. Now, Isaac, China has already announced these various military drills, uh, missile tests surrounding the island. How much retaliation versus posturing are you expecting to see? Companies should fear retaliation asymmetrically. So worry less about military drills, more about executives from U.S. corporations getting arrested or detained or harassed in China, or Chinese companies treating U.S. companies differently, or Beijing suddenly discovering that a major U.S. corporation committed tax fraud or has some irregularities in their books. Beijing loves to play it this way so that there's plausible deniability and so that it reminds the business world that in Beijing's mind, the business world is also responsible for what the U.S. government is or isn't doing. We've already seen some retaliation uh, from this big battery company that's pushed back its plans to announce a big plant uh, in North America. Of course, Taiwan is a huge tech hub, a huge spoke in the global supply chain. What kind of disruption, potentially longer term, Isaac, do you think there could be to the global and tech economy? It's hard to imagine a more concrete reminder that investing in China, Chinese supply chains, U.S.-China relations will be unstable for the foreseeable future. Base case now is these regular fluctuations, the regular risk of not getting the goods when you need them, not being able to parse or really understand Chinese policy. So people just need to throw out their old assumptions and work with the assumptions that supply chains will continue to be disrupted. Certain companies that say they're going to do something won't be able to do what they're saying. And not to be alarmist, but it is very possible that moves like these do lead to a war, or at the very least, a proxy war between the U.S. and China. And if that happens, all of the assumptions underpinning U.S.-China investments for decades will be written off. Ian, talk to us about the plans for the rest of this trip and the kind of signaling you're expecting to see, not just from Beijing, but also from the White House. Yeah, I mean, I think we've seen the, the White House playbook over the last couple of days. There was a shift from, uh, you know, denying that the trip was even happening, possibly the worst uh, kept secret given uh, it was the most tracked uh, plane, uh, you know, almost in history here. Um, I, I think at the moment we're looking at the White House shifting to uh, putting the onus for escalation on, on China itself, saying Pelosi's trip, uh, which we didn't have any say over, uh, doesn't move the needle. It doesn't change uh, U.S. policy towards Taiwan uh, either way. Uh, and so it's the, the kind of 
ball is in is in China's court. So the the, the amount of escalation we see, uh, you know, and some people are talking about the military exercises off off the ports and off the coast, amounting to a sort of an effective um, sort of temporary blockade. Uh, we're also going to see uh, missiles potentially uh, crossing over Taiwan and, and landing off the coast. Um, so there's a potential for miscalculation. I think at the moment we're just kind of waiting to see how long this lasts. We know there's going to be drills, uh, you know, for the next few days. Um, and now I think it's just a matter of, of, of seeing whether China's telegraphing of this stuff in advance is enough to allow U.S. officials to sort of manage the situation uh, so that there's no, you know, as they always talk about in U.S.-China relations now, uh, to make sure there's no miscalculation, uh, you know, in uh, veering the, the competition into conflict, as they also like to say. Isaac, U.S.-China relations evolve over decades. What kind of inflection point do you think this is going to be? How long potentially could this reverberate, if you will, quickly? I don't think this is going to be an inflection point. I think the inflection point is with Xi, it's with Xinjiang and Beijing's decision to put upwards of a million Muslims in concentration camps and the potential for Xi to get three terms for the three major positions in the Chinese Communist Party. That's the change. That's the moving of the status quo. If Beijing decides to invade Taiwan, that'll be a massive upturning of the status quo. Pelosi visiting, not all that much of an inflection point.